Okay, hi guys. So today uh, we're making burgers, homemade burger patties. Okay, so here are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using for the burger patty. Uh, we have oil. Okay, about one tablespoon of oil. Because I'm using one kilogram of uh, ground meat. Okay, this is one half pork and one half ground beef okay and then so we're gonna be using about one tablespoon of oil olive oil and then I have one egg here okay we have uh, pepper ground pepper we have Himalayan salt again and then Spanish paprika okay we have Worcestershire sauce and then this is about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce okay para magkaroon siya ng parang medyo parang barbecue na flavor and then um, this one is a uh, a whole garlic or one bulb of garlic uh, minced and then this is one large white onion uh, minced as well now uh, we're gonna put all of this okay in the mixing bowl together with the beef yan yung magiging patty natin while the rest of the ingredients as you can see here I have another set of white onions um, this one is gagawin natin caramelized onions pang topping natin sa burger later on, sa sandwich na. So, this will not be put in here, okay? Ibang luto siya, ikakaramelize lang natin. While this one, I have rosemary, okay? So, para na magkaroon ng different kick yung burger natin. So, while if I fry ko yung patty later, lalagay ko lang to. Uh, while frying sa sides, okay? Para magkaroon ng aroma, different kick dun sa burger. Alright, so hindi natin siya sasama sa mix. This one will be put later on sa side ng pan. Okay? So, that's it. So, let's start. So, let's start. So, ito na yung ground pork and ground beef natin. Uh, about one half each. Okay? So, we're just gonna put the oil. That's about one tablespoon lang of oil. Okay? And then, let's put the white onions. Okay? chopped or minced white onions there and then the garlic so um ibahin natin yung burger natin yung burger patty the good thing about this is that pwede tayo mag-experiment a little bit pwede natin lagyan ng mga ibang ingredients like so, yung iba parang nilagyan pa ng sugar yung iba may chili powder so it really depends on your preference ko ano taste na hinahanap ng taste buds nyo. Okay. So, mix lang natin siya. Also, I have my Worcestershire sauce. It's just about um, two tablespoons. Okay. Ayan. Para magkaroon siya ng ibang kick. Okay. And then, I have my Spanish paprika. So, there. Tansya-tansya lang ako most of the time. Okay. So, there. Since mahilig ako sa paprika. And then, I have a uh, Himalayan salt again. So, wala lang. You can use regular iodized salt or rock salt. It's up to you guys. So, hindi na natin ito matitaste, diba? Since hilaw yung meat. That's why, kailangan lang ng konting tansya. Huwag nyo na munang masyadong alatan. Unless na lang makapag-fry kayo ng one piece ng burger and then malasahin nyo na kulang sa salt. Then that's the only time na mag a tayo sa mixture. So there, I think that's enough na salt. And then of course, pepper. There. Uh, we have uh, ground black pepper. Okay. So add din natin siya. Gusto ko ma-pepper naman yung burger. There. So, yan. And then, I have one egg. Actually, pwede namang two since um, I have one kilogram of uh, ground meat here. Pero, yan muna. Let's just do one egg first. And then, I'll update you later kung hindi siya ma-hold. Then, kung nag-add ako ng another egg, I'll just update you later on. So, mix lang natin, guys. And, I'll update you later. So, yan. Na-mix na natin yung ating ground meat. Okay? Burger meat. There. So, this one's all ready to be fried dun sa pan. Right? So, let's start. Oil. There. Meron tayong oil sa pan. Okay? And then, once na-heat up na natin siya, lagyan natin yung rosemary on the side. Pampa! 
bango lang kasi and may different there sa so side lang naman siya wala lang, kaartehan lang but this one tastes really good pag mayroong rosemary, ang pork and beef yes Patty, try lang muna natin yung taste niya before natin lulutuin the rest okay? try muna natin kung okay ba siya kung mag add ba tayo ng salt or pepper okay, so there Try natin na burger. So, ayan. Before natin i-turn, check ko lang if nag-brown na yung um, bottom part. Okay. So, pag-brown na siya, that's the time niya. I-turn natin siya. Ayan. One turn lang para makit natin. There. Perfect. One turn lang para makit natin yung moisture nung gitna. Hindi yung ipot tayo ng ipot. So, let's avoid doing that. Okay, the only way para malaman natin if this one's already cooked, okay, or done, huwag natin masyadong sunugin there. So, kaya natin ng fork, and then, if wala nang meat na sumasama sa fork natin, then, it means luto na siya in the oven. So, let's turn off the heat. Try muna natin to taste this one, okay, if this one's perfectly seasoned, okay, before natin i-fry the rest. the burger. Now, yung mga oil niya, like this one, tinabi natin siya, cause, um, pwede natin yan gamitan pang fried rice, pang gravy, or some other cooking purposes na pwede natin gawin. So, right now, let's start with, uh, with caramelizing the onions. So, I have white onions, and dinagdagan ko siya na ang red onions, kasi konti na lang yung white. So, yeah. caramelize lang natin siya. Okay, using the oil that we use from cooking the burger. Okay. Yeah. So there, may may lang siyang konting trimmings ng burger. That's why parang may mga blackish siya. Okay. Because I use the oil where I fry the kung saan pinra yung burger. There. So, yan. Pag medyo soft na siya, that's the only time na aalisin natin siya from the heat. Okay, so, ayan na po yung caramelized onions natin. There, ta-transfer na natin siya. Okay. So, I already turned off the heat. Ayan, so, transfer na lang natin siya here sa ating burger patties center. There. Ayan. Para naman pag sinerve natin siya, makaka-appetizing niya. There you go. Some more. Done. Then, there you go. Voila. So, that's our burger recipe for today, guys. So, let's start or let's begin with our sandwich. Okay, let's start by heating our panini maker. Yan. And then, we have prepared the sandwich that we're going to be using. Is this one, the wheat bread. We have um, Heinz na ketchup. We have this one. May cheese pa kami. Okay, and then, um, ito yung ibang quick melt. And then, ito yung burger. And then, sa center, andyan yung caramelized onions. Pwede naman kayo mag-improvise. Like, you can put uh, mayo, mustard. Okay, pwede kayo maglagay ng pineapple tidbits. Bahala kayo, depende sa preference nyo. Pwede barbecue sauce. There. So, siguro gawin natin yan sa next na video namin. So, let's begin with our burger sandwich. So, there. Ayan. Um, tinutoast ka lang yung bread din sa panini. Hindi ko siya pinipress, okay? Para hindi siya mapisa o maflatten. So, ganyan lang yung gusto ko yung medyo, medyo parang na-roast siya. Okay, 
Okay, so uh, there guys, here's my double cheeseburger there. So we have um, three, uh, I put three patties in here. So one sa baba there. And then two patties in here. And then the caramelized onions, cheese, okay? So there, let's have lunch.